So here's a real quick job. Um, it's just a couple fir trees that need to come down, but <clears throat> there's definitely some issues with it and that these trees are really tall. Um, the one on the right, not so much, but it's still up there at least, I'd say 50 feet or more. Um, and for the diameter of it, it is so small at the base that you don't really want to be trying to climb up that. Uh, without some sort of safety above you. So both trees need to come down. Right here I am going up the bigger of the fir trees which is still probably about 80 feet tall and stripping it out so I can get a line set. The reason I made this video is you know someone new to tree work might just take the chance of climbing that smaller tree over to my right side there and go up there and, and cut it down in pieces but you know, the chance of you getting hurt or dying from that is pretty high. The, the tree's dead, so it's not in good shape. And you're putting a lot of stress on it as you're going up with your lanyard, rocking back and forth. It doesn't take much to break something like that out from underneath you. So look around and think about other trees you can use to your advantage to stay safe while you're trying to chunk something like that to the ground. If you got a taller fir tree next to you, you know, utilize that. Get up into the top of it um, so that you can drop down into that, that dangerous tree and work it to the ground with that safety line above you. So here I'm just putting in a double rope system at the top of this tree. You could use SRT if you want to. Um, personally, I use DRT so often um, just because it's so easy to use. You don't have to mess around with trying to retrieve the system using some special methods. You just put the double rope system in there over some branches like that around the main stem and then just rappel down into the tree you want to work. And at the end, make sure you pull the knot out of your carabiner. Take your carabiner off and undo your knot. I use a double fisherman's to tie in with and then pull your line out of the tree otherwise you're going to end up having to climb back up. If you're in a tight spot like I am here I have no room to drop these tops horizontally you know down to the ground. I've got to drop them vertically so this is the method you use don't go up there and take a large top that you can't manhandle right and you have yourself a good handle like i got there just cut the tree off with a snap cut and then break it and you can tilt it into another tree top like i did so i don't have to hold the full weight of it and then just kind of work it down and weave it through all the branches until you can get to the very top with your hand and you can drop it vertically below you and then, then you can fit it right into whatever spot you need underneath you um, you know precisely rather than trying to drop it horizontally and having to get hung up and, and fall back into a structure or something so you can just drop it straight down and then even if it hits the ground there and maybe tilts over into like a shed or some sort of um, strong structure down there it's not going to cause any damage so this is kind of just little techniques you use when you're working by yourself So now that I got that double rope system set, I can rappel down and just basically do a quick, uh, you know, move over to this other tree that would be dangerous to be in at this height without that support system above me. So now I'm nice and secure. I can lanyard in. If something happens with this tree, you know, say it fails underneath me, not a big deal. I could just drop my lanyard and swing right back into that other tree. So you do have to be careful in doing this um, method in that you have to have a good rope angle back to that safety tree. If you take a real hard swing because your rope angle is too steep, you know, yeah, you'll survive it, but you know, I guess it's better than nothing, but you're gonna end up getting hurt pretty bad. So try and get as high as you can on that tree that you're using as your main um, support so that your rope angle's real shallow. <laughs> so 
So if you guys are new to tree work and you don't know what kind of hand saws to get, um, my suggestion would be to pick up a Silky Zubat, um, or something around that size. They're absolutely amazing saws. I've had that one on my leg there for uh, quite a bit of time, over a year. I've been using just that one saw and I had a Zubat before that that ended up getting broken in half, but I'd used that for years. They're really fast cutting saws and it's just due to their profile and how they're very thin, the way that they build them. Good the other saws are there, huh? cheaper, but they don't cut near as fast. So don't go cheap on those. Get a good quality saw for your leg. I have it on my right leg. Um, it's super easy to pull in and out of the sheath. You can hang it from your harness, but I would think it would kind of get caught up and flop around a lot. So just get a couple of good Velcro straps and throw it on your calf. And uh, it's just a good spot to have it. So what's cool here about having that double rope system above you is you can just on lanyard swing back into your support tree and then rappel down to a, you know 10 15 feet below where you want to take another chunk and then you can just swing right back over into that tree you're working on and you don't have to sit there and lanyard down it and it's just a really efficient way to work a tree down that is just too dangerous to be in So I made this quick clip there for you so you guys can see how much movement you're getting in the tree when you're just at the base here moving around. So think about that when you're up here where I'm at now. The amount of movement up here is significantly more stress at the base of the tree than when I was down there. So try and keep your movements to a minimum. Um, when you lanyard down or you're lanyarding up the tree, try to stay very vertical so you can actually hug the tree like I'm doing here instead of kind of flopping your lanyard down and rocking backward to go down it causes a lot more movement in the tree just stay very vertical hug the tree as you come up and down and you'll see that it causes a lot less sway in the tree and more less stress So I filmed this last part so you guys could see how I get out of the trees. Um, this is a super efficient way that I've been using for years and I just, I can't see there being anything easier than this. Just, narrate over just the carry top with you know. like an eight or nine millimeter line. Um, you could use a thicker one if you want, but this is the main line I carry on my back um, to get saws up to me and water, fuel, other things. Just loop it around a good strong limb. Um, you can go around the stem if it's a smaller diameter tree. Use a rescue weight there with the horns and then just repel out. It's so easy to do. Um, it saves you a lot of stress on your legs. And when you're going up and down many, many trees on a job, you don't want to have to lanyard down that tree and put more holes into the tree than what you need to. Here it is again, um, kind of doing it pretty fast, so I wanted to slow down. I just double it, I put it through that rescue eight, and then I put a soft lock in it. I've never had a soft lock come undone, ever, this way. I'm not saying you should completely trust your life with this and do work off of that, like limbing with just a soft lock in and no um, lanyard around the tree, but I've never had a soft lock fail on me. So. Try this out, just keep your lanyard on until you soft lock it and then drop your lanyard, take that soft lock out and then you can start repelling down. 
You can even stop yourself and put the soft lock back in so you can re lanyard into the tree at any point going down. And I've actually used it before where instead of using my zigzag or something else, I just used my doubled up line like this on a rescue eight and I did limbing and other um, stuff. I wouldn't just rely on the soft lock at that point. I would hard lock it so you do another wrap around it or you can tie a knot. Um, there's videos online that show that, but. I just wanted to show you guys that this is such an easy process to get out of a tree and you can go as high as you want. You can be in a tree that's 180 feet tall and only carry about, let's say, 120 foot of line that gets you down.